Now that the virtual machine has been created, I can install the operating system. To do that, I'm just gonna to go to my RTS DC1 and you can either double click or right click and there is an option to connect. I'm just gonna start the virtual machine and I'm gonna press the space bar when it says press any key to boot from CD DVD. Now that screen does go by pretty fast. So if you're not paying attention or you're just too slow, you will need to reboot the virtual machine. If you need to reboot, just click these three keys here. They represent the control alt delete. They pass that to the virtual machine and it'll reboot itself. On this window setup screen, language, currency, keyboard, that's all correct. So I'll just choose next. I will click install now and that begins the installation. This is a very fast process. Now this gives us four choices. I will choose the bottom, Windows Server 2019 Data Center Evaluation. The other options, the ones that just say Evaluation, they are the core server, which we cover in the next lesson. But for the install for now, we will choose the bottom one, Windows Server 2019 Data Center Evaluation Desktop Experience. I'll choose next for that. I will accept the license terms. You can read through that if you choose to, but accept and next. Now this gives me the option to select the type of installation I want. You could do an upgrade, but I don't have an existing operating system on this. If this ran Windows Server 2016 and it was an existing server and you simply wanted to upgrade to Windows Server 2019, then you would just do an upgrade. I am performing a clean install, meaning I have a brand new machine, in our case, a virtual machine, and I want to install server 2019 on that. So that is this custom install windows only. I'll choose that. This is the virtual hard drive that was created when we created the virtual machine. I'm not changing anything here. So we'll click next. That's it to get the operating system installed. This will take a moment to install and it will reboot. Once it reboots, it will ask me to set the password for the built-in administrator account. That is the last thing I have to do is set that password. Then I'm able to log into the virtual machine and it's a full Windows Server 2019 operating system. It'll be online and connected to the internet. That has finished installing all the files and has rebooted. Now it's asking me to set my built-in administrator account, the password for that account. So I'll just enter the password I wanna use and we'll just hit enter and that is completely set up. Now you can adjust the resolution of the virtual machine. What I always do is put the virtual machine in full screen. So I'm gonna click this slide bar and I'm just gonna drag it over here uh, and you'll see it says full screen. Now when we connect, it consumes my entire desktop. Now if you wanna get out of full screen at any time, you can simply click that and it'll restore down and you can just go back to view full screen. Now that this has been successfully installed, I'm just going to enter the password and this will carry me directly into the desktop. The first logon does take longer than subsequent logons because it's actually building your user profile the very first time you log on. But as you can see, we are online and fully functional. Now, the first time you log in, you will get this networks option. 
that will just ask you if you want the PC to be discoverable on the network. I will click yes uh, for that. And you will also get this pop-up, uh, try managing servers with the Windows Admin Center. This is something we cover uh, in this course itself, but we don't need to see this pop-up every time. So I'm gonna click don't show this message again. And I was gonna click the X in that little pop-up message. If you don't, it's gonna pop up every time you uh, log into your server. 